Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I just sat down to do my video and I said, oops, I forgot my lipstick. That's the only thing I put on. I put a little lipstick on because my lips are pretty pale. With my gray hair and gray skin, I guess I get pretty pale. But I thought, gee whiz, I went shopping today. Here's my lipstick. And it's getting pretty almost gone. And I don't know what kind it is because it was one of those that came in a in a makeup box, makeup thing. I, I have makeup, but I don't use makeup. I think I showed that one time. Mm. I have tons of makeup. But this came in it, and it doesn't have a name on it. It doesn't have a number on it. It doesn't have anything on it. And so the only way I'm going to find that color is probably bring this tube with me, which I always forget. And just kind of look at it and try to compare with the ones that are in the store shelf. Maybe I'll find it. I don't know. But I went shopping today and I went to buy um, my half and half because when we went before Thanksgiving, there was none in the store. And so I went back today. And this little old man, he says, you're not going to drink all that, are you? And I go, well, I put it in my coffee, but it will... It lasts a long time. And he says, oh, okay. And he went on his business. Then I get at the checkout, and another little old man was behind me. This must have been a little old man day. And he said, you don't drink all that milk, do you? And I go, no, I put it in my coffee. And he says, does it go bad? And I says, not usually. It's got a long life. It's February 5th, I think, is when it's, it's supposed to not you know, they say sell by February 5th. I said, the thing is, you have to shake it every time you're going to use it because the milk and the cream will separate. And it tastes good in my coffee, so that's why I was putting... I said, we used to buy homogenized milk, and then we went to almond milk, and then we went to heavy cream, then we went to light cream, and because the cream was getting harder to find without the carrageen, that substance that causes cancer. It's called carrageen. A few of you have asked me before. I'll say it a little slower so that, oh gosh, so everybody hears what it is. It's carrageen that I don't want in my milk or my cream. Because What's it made from? I don't know. What is it made from? Seaweed. Oh, it's made from seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the man. He knows. Um, anyways, it causes cancer. That I know. So I try to find stuff that doesn't have it. And so the half and half doesn't have it, so we're okay. And it's creamy enough. When we had the milk, I was thinking, oh gosh, I used to put that dry creamer in with my coffee along with the homogenized milk. And I didn't want to start that up again because it took me over a year to get that out of my coffee. And um, I went to a a health thing. It was at, at the Catholic Church and there was a, a lady there and she was talking about the things that we have that are just a step away from being plastic and that was something that was a step away from being really bad. So um, I took it out and she said, you could use dry milk. Dry milk tastes terrible in your coffee. So that didn't work either. So I just, I went to cream and that found, I found that that was creamy, made it creamy enough. I like my coffee creamy. So that was that. And then um, my glasses are itching my nose. They were falling down. Um, I was going to talk about something else, too. What was I going to say? Black Friday. Oh, yeah, about Black Friday. <laughs> Good thing you're here. Um, I was watching a TED Talk today. And they were talk she was talking about a no-spend year, which... Wow. I don't, I, I probably could almost do that. Almost. Not quite. Because there'd be something that I would think of that I would like. And then I would end up buying it. And that would be, ruin my no spending. But anyways, it was about Black Friday. And, and it was a lady that was from England. And she was talking about how in England they don't celebrate Thanksgiving. But the day of no spend falls on Americans Black Friday, where all the people in our 
United States are out trying to spend as much money as they can and get all the big deals that they can, whereas in England they they would it was a day to no spend. Take yourself to the library or go to the park or do something fun, play games with your kids, do anything that doesn't cost you anything. And she was also talking about how you you buy the world, how it makes you think you need something and you buy it and then you then you're not happy because it's now it's not the newest of that and then you want to buy another one so you go to work and work another week to get more money so you can buy the new thing that's supposed to make you happy and you get that and then you bring it home and you're happy for maybe a little while and then you begin to get unhappy again or it starts or it's falling apart and you have to fix it and so now you're spending money on it fixing it and then you think, oh gosh, I need something more. So what do you do? You go back to work again and earn some more money. And that was the, the pretty much the TED Talk. So she was, she was downsizing, going to be a, more of a minimalist person because she said that people are feeling real free when they give everything away. And um, she wanted that feeling, which I'd like that feeling too. That's why I give a lot of stuff away. That's why I gave away my couch <laughs> and my dining room table. And I still have furniture, though. I still have enough to keep me happy. I had a thought in there that just kind of went, whoop, it, it blew away. It blows away as fast as I think it. It's in and out just like that. Let me think a minute. Are you sleeping? Oh. Are you sleeping? <laughs> no, I'm not sleeping. I was thinking. Um, well, I thought long enough. It didn't come back. So that means it's time for me to say goodbye. So I guess I will say goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.